There's my logger profile. I'll make it fit within the screen so you can see it. I'll remind you that page one is that. That's your first screencast. You should say something like, okay, as time goes on, the slope gets steeper, right? What does that mean about the car? It's getting faster. Beautiful. So the car goes faster, and that's represented by the slope getting steeper on our position time graph. Now, if I go to my velocity time graph, we got a line. And you just now told me that the equation of this line would be V equals like 0.1 meter per second per second times time plus 0.02 meter per second, right? And the intercept here, the 0.02 meter per second, that number there, just tells me how my car was moving at zero seconds, the, the velocity of the car at zero seconds, which you notice is close to zero because your car basically started from rest, right? Then this slope, 0.1 meter per second per second, means every second the car is doing what? So the speed is increasing every second by like 0.1 meters per second. That's why the units of the slope are meters per second per second. Are you guys good? So now I'm going to add a page three. This is the part you'll have to do on your own. So I'm going to go add page. Copy current page. That's pretty much what I always do. Now I got a page three, except I want two graphs here. So, <coughs> so I will copy this graph. See how it's highlighted? When it's highlighted, I copy it, and then I paste a new one there. I have two there. You can't see them. They're on top of each other. So I can hit Apple R, which is the same as going page auto arrange. And now I'm going to stretch them out so they look nice. Except I don't want velocity on top. I want what? So this is my full, the whole story here. And my goal right now is to show you how to get an equation for this curve, which you don't have the math skills to do, so I'm going to show you how to use Logger Pro to do it. Make sense? It's pretty sweet. Um, move this guy up a little bit. It's actually, you're going to find it's really easy. Um, so now that I've made it look pretty, you're going to need the information from this box here. Okay? I'm going to highlight the graph that I want to model, that I want to make an equation for. That's the top graph. That's the curve. So we going back to your position time graph, and we're making an equation to represent the curve. Are you guys good? So now I'm going to go here, and I'm going to be like, analyze model. Okay, we're making a model of this curve. Make sense? It's a mathematical model, but it's still, we're making something mathematical that represents the curve. You guys cool? Okay, so check it out. If I go up here, is this curve ever going to be a proportional thing? See how I get a line with proportional? Is this line ever going to fit that curve? Okay? So I go to the next one. The next one is also a stupid line. Is this line ever going to match that curve? So the first one that's a curve is the one you will use. It's called what? What does it say? Good. So you can pick quadratic. And <clears throat> I'm going to make my C value 0 and my v value, b value 0 for now. And I'm just going to change my a value. Now, if I click on this little triangle, it changes the increment for my a value. I'm going to make it 0 0.01, OK, and hit return. And I'm going to make this smaller and smaller until I see a curve. Do you see the curve coming? You want to try to fit this curve to your data, OK? Oh, oh, OK. See how I can't get it to fit? I need to make my interval smaller. So instead of 0.01, I'm going to make 0.001 until I can fit my data. Are you guys digging? Basically, you're doing curve fitting. Okay. Now, that's pretty close, right? You guys like it? Okay, I made it worse, so I'm going to go back up there. Are you guys good? 
Now, I want your B value to be this value here. Do you guys see that? What is it? 0 0.018. So my B value, I'll make 0 0.018. All right? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ignore the 3.5. Now, I can adjust this a little more. You guys with me? Okay, now, your C value, you see those are A, B, and C? Your C value will basically make the whole curve go up or down. Notice if I make the whole curve go down a little, it should fit perfect. Are you with me? So, I'm going to make the C value get smaller. I'm going to make the increment small. I'm going to make it 0.01. Hit return. And then I'm going to gradually move the curve down. How's that looking? I can tweak this a little. Move this up. Do you see I tweaked it a little? That looks pretty dang good, right? Okay, I hit OK. Now... Do we now have a beautiful equation of our curve? Yes. Now, you wouldn't stop there. You would actually write out the equation, OK? So you would, your equation that you would write, I should do it on the computer, because then the computer will hear me. Um, so on this, uh, it's only seven minutes so far, dude. Um, so I'll insert text, check it out. And then I'll do Apple R. Oh, that messed everything up. Whoops. Here. Are you guys good? I promise I will. Just chill for a minute. Okay, it's getting a little bit loud. Help me out. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to try to write this equation here. Equation is going to be position equals, do you see where I'm getting it right here? What's my A value? Look here for A. What does it say? Okay, can I call it 0 0.05? I'll put parentheses around it. And then I'll write <coughs> T for time. Now, notice right here, do you know what this caret 2 means? That means the time has to be squared, right? So all right, carrot two, please give me about 30 seconds. I'll finish this equation. Carrot two plus what comes next? 0 0.02 and then times time. What's the last number? Okay, minus, minus 0.05. Okay. That would be it. You would then have your...